another thing I'm noticing in boxing a lot, a trend. You have a guy, he gets trained by a coach and an amateur, the coach brings him, brings him along to pick professional wins. All of a sudden, the guy is the trainer. Have you been in a situation like that as a trainer or as a fighter? Well, I have been, right? That's usually done by the promoter or the team with the fighter. Um, what happened for myself, I remember I was with my trainer from day one to the pretty much very end. And I would bring a trainer in that had more experience than mine on a professional level that we would work together. But it wasn't to ever get rid of my trainer because he's the guy that trained me from day one. He was a very, very good trainer. But you still need that experience that can help you. It's good if you can get two coaches working together and understand each other. And I was lucky in my career that that's what I had. You know, I always kept my guy from day one, but also brought in some other experience. It's like bringing in some sparring guys. You want to bring in different styles and different things that can be effective. And you just you keep learning. So, yeah, I understand that. Uh, I see, I always like to keep the man on board, like the trainer that's been there, that's taught him with the, uh, to be successful, not to get rid of him, but to just enhance things and improve on maybe some things that he needs for the professional level. Because that's typical in the amateurs that they get that experience and then when they go pro, it's, it's a transition as well. So. But I, I, myself personally, I like keeping that, that first guy there, the experienced guy, that knows the fighter so well, and I have to watch him and see what he's doing and see what I can improve there. But I know I know a lot of promoters, when you sign with a promoter, they're, they're at times looking to get you with a, their house trainer, and say, hey, listen, we, this guy's proven, he's been there, he's done it, and we're more comfortable. Some can work good with it, and some not so good. That was my next question. Do you think it hurts a no, I don't think I think it I think it helps and it hurts the whole because you're still losing some things that have gotten you there which can keep me in practice as well. With the new guy, um, depends who he is, what he brings to the table that can fit that fight. Uh, Style-wise, a lot of guys when they come out of those amateurs, they're very open to learning. Okay? So that's where the transition has to be made. So it's about the timing of when this uh, new trainer comes in. They come in right away from the amateurs because when you first come into boxing, you're very open to learning. You learn a lot there. Then when you turn pro, you transition, you're very open to learning as well. So it's just a matter of who's going to train you, who's going to fit to that style, the best for your style.